press any key I did already it's gonna say Windows loading files like right there it's gonna take some time so you could you can't see it like it's wider here like the process but yeah I'll be right back when it's fully done so when you get to the installation screen uh just select your what's the name your language and then put um uh, repair computer and then he, you're gonna be in here in the screen and put command prompt so type in this part I'm gonna put this here press enter it's gonna take a little bit like two seconds or more this is gonna be like this disk part and then you're gonna put select select disk zero Select this zero and then press enter and then select a Windows Vista partition or XP. Select partition one in my case. Press enter. It says partition and one is now selected and then put active. Active and press enter. So now, um, press uh, type in exit. So now you're gonna type in um, boot track space slash rebuild bcd. It says scanning all disk for Windows installation. Please wait. Okay, it's already done. And press Y and then enter. So say yes. So now we're gonna mark in uh, Leopard Active. So we're gonna put in disk part, disk part again. And then I'm gonna type in select disk. I'm typing typing with one hand. Zero select. Partition two, I believe, and then put active and exit. Okay, now just um, restart your computer. It's gonna be able to start. It's starting right now. I'm just gonna take out the DVD and let's see if Leopard works. As you can see it does. Now let's go to Windows. I'm just gonna shut down here. See if it works. If this um you could do this if you get uh, any type of error when you install Mac and if it doesn't if it doesn't show anything or whatever you could just um type Windows Beast or something like that, you could do whatever you need and then it's gonna work. So yeah, and if you don't have anything like black screen like this, you just need to install a bootloader, and then mark the partition active in the process we just did. As you can see, it does work. So yeah.